Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and I'm here to take a look at the official trailer for Pokemon Concierge. Concierge or Concierge? Concierge? Is the G and E not, you know, pronounce it Concierge? Concierge? Whatever. Anyway, Pokemon Concierge. Concierge. Uh, I hope... It's cool, because when they showed this before, it was like stop motion, and I think there might have been some claymation in there. I thought it was a cool idea, at least, so uh, I figured, let's check out this trailer, of course. I like Pokemon. I mean, I haven't played a lot of the newer games. I, I said that, but I played all the way through Sword and uh, Legends Arceus, so I'm definitely not as much into Pokemon as I used to. I also keep hearing Scarlet and... Uh... Violet? Yeah, I think that sounds right. Um, we're not great, so. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure there's going to be another Pokemon game coming out next year, though. So, that's my that's my guess. My guess, next year, big Pokemon game coming out. There you go. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's check this out. Three, two, one, play. I'm supposed to start working here today. My name is Haru. I, I like I like the animation already. See, I... I uh, I, I like I like you I like you stop motion stuff like this. Our job is to take care of these Pokemon yeah, and ensure they Come enjoy the resort. In other words, you'll be the Pokemon concierge, the Pokemon concierge. resort. All right, that's not so right the first time. I can't time. believe I'm actually here. Girl got a neck though. <laughs> Kung Lao's jealous. Oh, okay. Nice. It's uh. The first time I felt so relaxed. That's her, really? Oh, sounds so different. Bye, Mark. Bye. The Pokemon don't exactly tell you what makes This looks happy. great. Well, um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, most humans will say to your face either. They say things like, take a guess. Go. Yeah. This looks really good. I love it. This is a good vibe. Love the animation. Aww. Ah! This one is Hoppy. Get wet. This is Muskip. And the yellow one is Pikachu. No, I mean, it's Psyduck. Yeah. Uh, screw Pikachu. We got Psyduck, baby. Yeah, the thing sounds pretty good. I like that. This just looks charming as hell. When is this coming out? Christmas Day. Or at least at Christmas. Pokemon concierge. <laughs> I wonder which Pokemon we meet today. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was gonna say 28th. I mean 25th. I said 20th. Alright. Ah, come on, release it the 25th. You know you wanna. That's why you put it for that day. The 28th, they're like, ah, oh, we gotta give people a couple days so they can open their gifts and crap and enjoy them. And then we'll give them Pokemon concierge. Just release it on the 25th. Huh? Come on. That's a great one. What the hell is this? Um, God, I, I, th I thought that looked really good. I, I also have a feeling. I don't know why. I just got that feeling that people are going to be like, eh, I don't like the way it looks or something. Shut up. Your opinion doesn't matter here. No. Uh, let me see. It's been out for a little bit. Only nine minutes. I'm happy when you're happy. Set a resort for Pokemon. Sorry, this is the story of a. This is the story of a new concierge named Hyro who gradually discovers herself as she. I really want to start streaming from Thursday. Okay, does that mean? No, that means all the episodes are going to be out, right? And is this going to be like a short series or something like that? Like every episode's like super short, or is it going to be like a regular? Because I really like the animation, that stop motion look. I love it. Yeah, that teaser for this came out like a long time ago. Yeah, it was early this year. Yeah, so stop motion series. Yeah, and Karen uh, uh, Fukuhara is that her name? Is I could I guess I could just look it up right now, but uh, looking up IMDb. Uh, weird, weird. It's not showing the cast. Okay. Anyway, I'm assuming there's other people in there, right? They got her. That's pretty good. That That is her, right? I'm not losing it. She sounds really different in this. I, I feel like every time I hear her, though, she's either... Obviously, she doesn't talk in the boys. Uh, or she's 
she sounds very different. Like, uh, I'm thinking of, um, um, uh, Callisto Protocol. She talks very different in that. So, she actually sounds f so different than, like, even the, uh, some of the other movies I saw her in. Uh... I guess she, yeah, I guess it really, when it gets right down to it, she hasn't been in a lot of stuff where she talks, and she, even, like, Suicide Squad, that was the first time I saw her, even that was, like, she barely said it, <laughs> she said, like, three words, I'm like, she was in She-Ra, okay, she's in The Boys, of course, Star Wars Visions, she was in one of them, okay, one of the episodes, Close to Protocol, yeah, okay, The Boy and the Heron, oh, yeah, okay, cool, she's in that, Lady Hidden, okay, I can't wait to see that, she's in the Bobbleheads movie, say what?! <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Finally. Actual cinema. Martin Scorsese he saw bobbleheads and he was like, cinema. I take it all back. This is this is where it, this this is the cinematic universe I want to see. I can't wait for the Bobbleheads movie too. I can't wait for it to uh coincide with the when it, when it, like te when they do the, the Avenger style team up movie where it's gonna be the bobbleheads and the and the uh, tech deck movie. <laughs> Yeah, I would watch a tech deck movie. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that would be. It would be just a bunch of... Like... Would it be like... What would it even be? I can't even think what it would be. It would just be a bunch of skateboards that... Like two fingers... Like uh, like two fingers are the characters or something. And they have t and they have skateboards. <laughs> it would be like magical skateboards that just regular kids use or something like that. I'm trying. I can't think of like oh, what are those wheel ones that were kind of like Beyblades, but they were, you you rip them, but they're just wheels and they just go. Wheel. Get one of those. Get those things. I don't know why I'm comparing tech decks to bobbleheads, but I can't think of anything else. Like uh, the hula girl. How about that? that? That was pretty much just a bobblehead, except the hula skirt would like bounce around. I don't know. Anyway, Pokemon Concierge. Uh, speaking of you know. Hula Girl, this is you know, on a tropical island, so close enough. Anyway, that's it. It looks really good, actually. I really want to watch it. So, there you go. That's it. That's probably the most excited I've been for a Pokemon thing in a very long time. It just looks like a really fun and cozy show. And I love the animation. Love it. I remember looking at it earlier this year and going, Oh, you sold me. I'm more excited about this than a 2D animated one. Or even a movie. Like a straight up movie. Personally. That's just me, though. I have a feeling people will be like, I don't like the Phantomation because it makes me think it's old. <laughs> I don't like it. James and the Giant Peach is a bad movie. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, I didn't see Kubo and the Two Strings. And so I saw Utopia. That was better. Even though I didn't see fucking Kubo, so I don't know how I can say that. Just remember everybody saying that back in 2016. Zootopia is better. I hope it wins. I didn't see Kubo. How the fuck you know it's better then? <laughs> Kubo to Two Strings is a better movie. I'm sorry. I love Zootopia, though, I will say. But uh, Kubo to Two Strings is a masterpiece. Anyway, there you go. That's it. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, that's it. Bye.